started in Daisy, you will need to have a Tron-based DAP wallet. We strongly recommend using TronLink or TronLink Pro. So here's how you're going to do. You're going to go to your App Store for those Apple users and Google Play Store for the Android users. You would download TronLink. You'll search for TronLink and download TronLink. And it could be TronLink Pro for those who use Android. Now, as this is downloading right now, uh, once it's downloaded, I want to show you how to secure your wallet, first of all, because that's very, very important. That is where a lot of people go wrong and they lose access to their wallet or they lose funds. Once your TronLink app has been downloaded, you can open it, go to create account. You will need to scroll down to the terms and conditions, accept. Now you have to set a name that can be any name. And I'm going to set this as testing here. You can set any name. That will be the name your wallet is known by. You can change that at any time in the settings. You will also be required to set a password. Please make sure you set a password that you will remember, but also a password that someone else may not be able to guess. In this instance, I'm going to use test one, two, three, four exclamation mark. It's going to ask you to confirm your password once again. And once you've done that, your wallet is being created. Now your wallet is created and it will ask you to back up your mnemonic word. This is one of the two very important part of the security of your wallet. If you ever lost your phone, deleted your wallet accidentally, this is what will give you access back to your wallet. So you click back up now, it will tell you never to take a screenshot because if your phone was hacked, that's the first place hackers are searching for information on. So I would advise writing this down on a piece of paper. Please ensure you write it in the same exact same order as it appears here. Once you've written it down, you can move to the next step where you say, I have saved it securely. It will ask you to confirm two of those mnemonic words. Here is asking you what's number 11, which was elephant. And it's also asking you number two, which was coyote. Now your wallet has been created. First thing first, you can see where it says zero TRX underneath. It's showing me the balance in the currency yuan. You can go to on the bottom right here to my scroll down to settings currency and change it to USDT. We advise everyone to have it in USDT because Daisy is a project that transacts in USDT value equivalent. So once that is done, you should see, let's go and double check. Oh, it hasn't changed it yet. Let's try that again. Uh, I've actually just changed the setting. Once you've made a transaction, that's when it will allow you to go to the settings and change it from the yuan to the USDT, which you can do if you prefer that. The next thing which is ultimately important, we're going to go back to my wallet management. Now you're going to go and back up your private key. You've already back up your mnemonic word at the start. You're going to back up your private key by putting the password that we set earlier. And again, it's going to remind you, do not take a screenshot. You write this down on a piece of paper and keep it somewhere extremely safe. If you forgot your password of TronLink, if you lost your phone, if you accidentally deleted the wallet without the private keys, you may never be able to access your wallet or your funds ever again. So please ensure to make to write this down and keep it securely. Now, once you've done this, you have now secured your wallet to one level. At the end of this, we're going to direct you to a video that will help you add an additional layer of security. But for now, the next step is to get funds into your TronLink wallet so you can get registered into Daisy. The first thing you do, you see your wallet address with the two little rec well, rectangle with a little edge to it. You click on that. It will copy the wallet address where you want to send the funds to. The beautiful thing is your wallet address for TRX as well as USDT. So just to show you your USDT wallet address, if we go receive TFEW, let's say we copied that, should be the same as your TRX wallet. Oops. 
for receiving exactly the same. So now you've got the wallet address to which you need to send the funds into TronLink. Before we show you an example of how to send funds to your TronLink, here's a list of all the exchanges that will accept that you'll be able to use to send USDT onto the Tron network, onto the TRC20 network. We do strongly recommend you use one of the top six as highlighted here because they're the most reliable, the most secure one. In this example, I'm going to use Binance. You see, I've got my Binance, which I'm already logged in. When you create an account, this is what it will look like once you're logged in. You can go here and go to buy crypto, but there's an easier way to do it. If you go to wallet and choose fiat and spot, once it's loaded, you can scroll down or use the search button here for USDT. You'll go to the right and select buy USDT. Please note that if you don't already have a verified account with Binance or any other exchanges, you may have a certain limit. So it may require you to upload a copy of your ID. Those verification can take about two, three hours, but it has known to be taking up to two, three days at times. So make sure you do that as early as possible so you're not delayed getting started in Daisy. So here you'll be able to purchase the amount of USDT you want. And once you've purchased your USDT, you can go back to your list of crypto where you have your USDT. Remember, you will need the equivalent of USDT for all the combination, the total of the tiers you want to purchase in DAISY. For example, if you want to purchase tier free, that's 100 plus 200 plus 400, that's $700 USDT, which means you need 700 USDT. I would say have 702 just to cover the transaction fees, sending it from, let's say, Binance into your Tron link. But what you also need to have is you need to have some Tron, some TRX, because each transaction on your Tron link will take the fees in TRX. So here's what you can do. You go to your USDT. Please make sure you've transferred or you've deposited enough in USDT that allows you to convert some of those into TRX. In this example, we would advise people to have at least 150 TRX for each transaction. Here, I'm scrolling down to see uh, what do I want to convert my USDT into. Uh, and I'm looking for TRX. I could have just typed it as well. TRX. And let's say I say, you know what? I just want to transfer $30 USDT, convert those into TRX. Preview. And once I confirm, I would have my TRX ready. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to go back to the list of fiat and spot crypto that I have. From here, you now have your USDT and your TRX. Like I said, although you use normally 30 to 60 TRX for each transaction, it is best to be safe and have at least 150 TRX because what you don't want is you don't want a transaction failing, but you're still paying the fees in TRX just because you did not have enough. So from here, you can go for both TRX and USDT one at a time. You will go withdraw. And you will put in the wallet address that you copied from your Tron link here. You will put the wallet address here. I'm going to use a dummy wallet address, for example, here. And you're going to select the TRC20 network, TRC20 for Tron. You're going to put the amount of Tron. Let's say you're going for three tiers, so 400 and let's say 55, just five extra TRX there. And you will receive 454. You submit this, it will send it straight to your Tron link. And you would go back and do exactly the same with your USDT. So let's go and show you because when you transact USDT, there are more options to choose from. Likewise, you're withdrawing USDT from your Binance or any other exchange that you're using. You will put the wallet address or you will put the wallet address here. You will choose the TRC20, the Tron network. You will put the amount, which is, let's say, 705, as we discussed for three tiers, to cover the three tiers. In fact, I could have sent 701 as the fees only one USDT. Please note that different exchanges will use different transaction fees. So please take a look at that. Now, once you've sent your TRX and your USDT to your Tron link wallet, 
you are now ready to start the actual process of signing up in Daisy. And we're going to move to that right away. Now that you, we've transferred funds into the Tron link, we can go back in and see that the funds are in, in terms of TRX, as well as USDT. We're now ready to get started. Okay. Now, for those of you who have an Apple device at the bottom, the third option will be browser. For those on an Android device, it will say discover. It's exactly the same. You click on there, you go and paste the referral link that your referrer has sent you. Please make sure not to change anything. Don't put any space, don't back a space, nothing. Exactly how it is and click on go. Now that is the first step to actually getting started in Daisy. It will take you to this screen here, which is telling you, you have to get registered. It will cost $100 because that's the contribution for tier one. It's telling you who you've been referred by. That is based on the referral link that you receive. And you can use a username. Choose a username. Now try and choose a username, which is not too generic where it would have been used. So in this instance, I'm gonna use legacy. For example, I'm gonna go, it's telling me his username is taken eight 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 well that seems to be available so i have read and understand the legal agreement of course as you click sign up that means you've agreed and understood the legal requirement feel free to click on that so you can read through it i'm going to go sign up now please let it do what it needs to do as this may take a little a few seconds to even a minute or so it's going to ask you for your password that you said that is your Tron link password. Many people uh, tend to think that that is a password for Daisy. It's not. It's going to ask me again to confirm. Oop. There you go. And that's it. That's the last confirmation. Please make sure that you do not exit this screen you have to go through each two or three confirmation because that is making sure everything is done completely that should mean now my tier one as you see it will say here tier one in current contribution is done now i am in the daisy app if i click on tier one it will show me there as a little green icon now if i wanted to go and contribute to the next tier and upgrade so i click on tier two so we're going to repeat the same process here for tier two, because I want to contribute to the next tier. You can always come out and come in to check. I mean, before we do this, you could move on from here. No problem at all. But let's close this for a minute. Let's go back to asset and you will be able to see if you go to your USDT, that 100 USDT was taken out. And here it has not gone but it will go the transaction fees will be taken now how do you go back into your daisy app and log in so you go to browser or discover for those of you using android now you don't put the referral link you just put daisy dot global and you go to that it will take you to the same screen select automatic login uh, you can go safe mode or fast mode. We always advise people to go on safe mode. And from here, you put your password. And it will take you into your back office. Again, where it shows you've already contributed to tier one. And I want to go to tier two. So I'm going to go and repeat exactly the same process as we've done for tier one. Confirm payment. It's going to ask me for the password. Once I enter that. I'm waiting for it to process the transaction and ask me the password again, as it just did. And here is going to carry on the processing up until this transaction is completed, as it just did. Now I'm tier two. If I, if I wanted to now contribute to the next tier, let's say tier three, I would go and repeat exactly the same process we've just shown you twice. Now, once you've contributed to all the tiers that you want to, we strongly advise that you add an additional